Hey guys, what's up? This is Jinx Rose, and this game is Dungeon It's pretty freaking awesome from what I've played so far. First thing you'll notice, though, is that the screen is all messed up. My 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 mouse is massive. Uh, that's because natively it's a tiny, tiny screen, tiny, tiny window. And then if you force it to full screen, it does this, and it stretches everything out. But the game is pretty freaking awesome, so. I think I'm just gonna jump into it and we're gonna get started. So you can play, you can start the game off as either a paladin, oh, I think that's it, I think all you got right off the bat is a paladin. Yeah, so we're gonna play as the paladin. 70 health, 1 attack damage, and 20, I'm guessing speed on that, that's what I'm gonna guess it is. And then the abilities are Holy Strike, uh, Crusader Strike, Resurrection, and Paladin Manual. I don't think you start off with any of those, actually. Uh, I think you have to level them up to level one. But let's go ahead and get started with it. So this is the kind of game where you gotta expect to die a lot. Um, and again, the screen is all messed up. The center screen is what we're looking at. This over here, I don't even know what this is. Uh, but basically all you do is you click and you explore. And you discovered a monster. Skeleton, a generic undead minion. They're easy targets for paladins. So then, we don't have any spells right now. This is our happiness down here, the smiley face is our happiness. I think the more we attack, the more we kill, our happiness goes up, I'm not positive. Anyway. Okay, discovered a new monster, Goblin Grunt, a common nameless minion of the Goblin Horde. Watch out, sometimes he'll attack twice before you hit. So I just picked up a new sword, so now I do two damage at a time, he's dead in one attack. Um, this guy's got a lot. Uh, but I'm doing three damage at a time to him because he's undead. So that's the key. That unlocks the end of the level, and we could just continue downward. Not gonna, though. Bat. These little guys are everywhere. They're not very strong, so they shouldn't give you much trouble. Yeah, he's got one hit point. They seem to always attack first because of the speed of the paladin. But anyway, they don't do that much damage to him. So break that. Nothing. Our happiness is very low, too. We need to find more treasures. So, uh, the enemies don't attack you unless you attack them first. And then they'll get first strike on you if their speed is higher than yours. They do block areas. You'll see this red X here. That area means that it, or that means that the area is blocked. I just picked up a spell. Freezes the target for three turns. You can sell it for health, or you can actually cast the spell. We'll bust open these barrels. There's some heart right there. That added one. Disappointingly so. So we could freeze. Um, we can freeze this guy. There's no point right now. I'll save the freezing spell for later. So I got two coins and cleared out the area. And I got an antidote because you can get poisoned later on in the game. Actually, I think you can get poisoned like first level. So that's the gist of this game. It's just like click, pick out stuff. If you, if you find enemies of... Uh, if you open up too many blocks at once and you get enemies that are the same, these guys are not the same because he's got this little crown, so he's like a boss skeleton, but these guys are. So he has one and one, one health, one attack. This guy's got one health and two attacks because he's being buffered by this guy. So let's attack this guy first. Take out the bats. And this guy I will freeze for three turns. So I can attack him. Probably can't kill him all the way in three turns, but... <clears throat> I got 10 coins from him, or 10 coins in total. So not directly from him, but... Basically all you're really trying to do is find the key, get to the next level, and then there's challenges along the way. It's an interesting game, definitely. It's not something I would spend a whole lot of time on, and it's not something I'm going to spend a lot of time making a Let's Play of. Uh, but I will spend a little bit of time on it, because it actually is kind of fun. Well, especially once you start getting some coins and stuff. So, these are challenge doors. I'll open the door if you show me some magic. So, I already did that. I already cast magic in this room. So, that unlocked fireball. It damages one enemy and it does one damage. I will open the door to a healthy hero only. So, that requires 51 health, which I don't have. So, that door won't open for me. This is guaranteed first strike for three attacks, which is actually pretty nice. Find the key to open. Another antidote. So we're just going to be basically finding a lot of stuff and opening different paths. 
So this is a shop. You can purchase things here. You can. I don't have anywhere near enough money to do this, but you can get 10 hearts for 150 or one extra attack damage for 300. You only do one attack at a time, so it's not an extra attack. See, now this guy's uh, attack went up, and he got a double strike, so he actually dealt four damage to me, which sucked. This is also the kind of game where you've got to expect to die, like, a lot, because it's going to happen constantly until you get better and maybe start unlocking new characters. So the first couple of levels, I don't I don't worry at all about my character dying. I just let him fight and hope that he doesn't die too, too quickly. Ah, so many enemies. Okay, this guy's cool. You can click on him and he'll just attack the near the nearest enemy. Or maybe the strongest enemy, I'm not sure which. So you can't do anything with these, these are just pit holes, pitfalls. And that, again, is the shop, so let's go on to the next level. Dungeon 4. So if I wanted to, I could cast this, and then I'm guaranteed to get the first strike for the next three. Which didn't really do me any good in that scenario. It would have helped against a skeleton or something like that. But it didn't really do me any good. Okay, we got another frozen. So we can freeze this guy. Attack this guy and get him out of the way. And then attack this guy. And suffer one attack instead of two. Or three, I guess. And there's the next room. This guy's cool. He gives me health. If there's nobody else in the room, if there's nobody, no monsters that are active, I think if there are active monsters, he'll just attack them. It's very dark, bring me a lantern. I don't have one, so we're going down another level. Dungeon 5. And expect to see me go through these dungeons a bunch. I think they are randomly generated as well, so... It's not like you click on a dungeon, or you go to the next dungeon, and Dungeon 5 is always going to be the same. So I want the... I want the attack, actually, which comes after the gold coin. Ah, crap. Well, I messed that up. I'll take this. What is this? Doubles attack power for three attacks. Good. I'll use it. Double strike. This one is victim attack power reduced by one point. Can't be lower than one point. So since he only has one, it'd be useless to use that on him. And let's just open the rest of these up. So this guy has 12, but it's only a one. But we'll use our fireball on this guy. It barely dealt any damage. But you can attack during the same round that you use a spell, I think. Pretty sure that's how it works. And we're close to dead. We're at like 20, 24 hit points. So we're not, we probably won't even make it to 10, but we're getting the coins that we need to increase our character's abilities, so that's good. Got a lot of antidotes too, so poison's not going to be a thing. Ooh, equipment, increase mood by one point. So you could sell that if you knew you were going to die right away because you can't take equipment with you to the next area. If you knew you were going to die right away, you could sell all of your equipment and use the coins to level up your character. And that's probably what I'll end up doing once my health gets a little bit lower. I will protect you from three attacks. That's what that guy does. So, I think I can survive this then, because he'll take one hit, two hits, three hits. Those guys are gone, and he protected me. So we will definitely make it to the next level. I'm happy we found that guy. This is... okay, yeah. Lowering the attack. Twelve coins, nice. <sighs> Let's see. Dungeon 7. Actually, not too bad. This one I like. This polymorph turns the target into a sheep, reduces the health and attack power by 50%, which is nice. Although you don't want to use it on... See, out of these enemies, I'd use it on this guy. So, I'll do it on him. I'll turn him into a sheep. It's awesome. But because I turned him into a sheep, I found a rune. I had one point to hero attack. That's awesome. Uh, but because I used it on him... He was no longer undead, so it was kind of a waste, actually. Because with undead, I do extra damage because I'm a paladin. Anyway. Oh no! Goblin King. He's large and in charge, so don't hold anything back. He's, he's shout. He's shout? Increase monsters attack. Okay. Good to know that he's shout does that. All monsters, too, in the entire area, not just... Am I poisoned? No, okay. Very dark, bring me a lantern. I don't have a lantern. See, now I know... I know I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. 
I have four hit points left and I can't kill him in four rounds. So what I'm going to do is sell this, sell this, maybe get some hearts out of these, and then I'll actually cast this, guaranteed for a strike for the next three. So there's no way I can beat him, but I'm going to at least give it a, give it a try. <laughs> I'm basically dead though, I'm dead. But I made all that money from selling that stuff and now we can spend that money on the skills that I have that I obtain that I can obtain. So, fell in trap zero times, cells open 209, monsters killed 63, and level reached 7. So, now we can go back. And this will take us back to the main screen where we can go ahead and start again. And I don't think we've unlocked... No, we got to get reached level 10 of the dungeon to unlock the vampire. But now we can unlock some of these skills. Two of them, to be exact, because we have 533 coins. So, alright, let's do... Attacks deal more damage to undead. That would be useful. Chance to charge weapon with divine energy after killing undead. Tw add, that would add 12.5% dam damage to the next attack for 25% chance of that. 10% initial health. Return to life after your first death could be really good. And then plus 0 HP, but I think the next level is a lot higher. Oh, actually, I've got to choose. Because these get more expensive as we go. So, I'm going to upgrade this one. Upgrade Holy Strike. And that'll be it for now. And then we're just going to go down again. And just continually do this until we get to a further level and increase... You know, increase our stats or switch to a different class. Switch to a different character. Whatever we want to do, basically. Um... See, I'm thinking what I might do is just try to get down as low as I can. So just look for the key and not worry about the enemies. But I kind of like clearing out the dungeon as well. It's, I like it. It's fun. Double attack power. I don't need that. So we'll kill this guy. Oh no, I've been poisoned. And I have no antidote. We're dead. We're dead already. So let's do this then. Greedy door. Entrance fee. Sure, why not? Oh, uh, that's lame. All right, let's go down. There's arenas, too, that you can take take place in. We haven't seen any of those yet. I think they show up at lower levels, but they're pretty interesting, actually. Uh, okay, let's start killing some people. Skeletons out in no time. Oh, I, don't, I only do one damage. That sucks. All right, we'll get these coins. Kill this guy. This guy will take two attacks. And I don't think there's anybody else. There is. There's a bunch of other other people. Okay. Perfect. Good to know. Got four coins. I need to get up to 400 for the next thing I want to increase. Uh, let's... This guy. Okay, this guy? Okay, he gave me 11 health. That's cool. I want more damage, though. I don't care about the health. I do, but I don't. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Ah, these bats are su too easy, too. No matter what, though, I'm getting attacked first, which sucks, because against bats, if I was the first attack, they there's no way they damage me. There's the extra damage. Nice. And we'll do this. Power attack. Power attack. Perfect. Reward. See, so you get a reward for clearing out. And I'm going to get this greedy door. They're not always the best, but guaranteed for a strike for three attacks. What is this? Dungeon 4. I'm just going to get the key as quickly as possible. Or look for the key, at least. And maybe... Yeah, found it. Uh, I kind of want to explore. Here's what I'm going to do. I like that one. That one's a good spell. Um, teleport enemy on randomly... Random cell. So, like this guy. I might as well show you. So, you do that... And it kind of is supposed to open up areas that you haven't already been to. I'm just going to go to the next level, though. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to clear out the dungeon without having to fight my way through everybody. So whatever areas are blocked off are just going to stay blocked off, I guess. Get some more health from that guy. Those guys are cool. They give me health, and that makes me happy. And what is this greedy door? 50? Again? I'm, I'm not going to have any money at all. And we haven't found the key yet, so we'll kill this guy. And there's the key. Perfect. I'm not... Yeah, I'll use three health to get inside the greedy door. 
Yeah. So now we've increased the amount of damage that we can do, which is nice. And if we can get down to level 10, we can unlock the vampire, which would be even cooler. Not enough space. What should I cast? I don't really know if I want that. Let's turn this guy into a sheep and kill him. Or not. I found the spell polymorph. So I used the spell polymorph to gain the spell polymorph. Dang it. Didn't want to do that. The door's open though, so we can continue downward. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's continue downward. You've died here last time. Find the fallen hero. This is a cool part too. If you get to a level that you've already reached previously, you can find your body and get some goodies out of it, which is nice. Here's a resurrection stone. Play a return to life after death, which is cool as hell. This, oh, that's not what I want. And it will op I will open the door if you kill a monster in one strike. So there's that door open. And not enough space for it. I want to collect more of these. So let's start using this. We'll polymorph this guy. And freeze this guy who's doing two damage. And kill that guy right off the bat. Perfect. Awesome. Now we can collect these and not this, which sucks. But I don't really think we need it either. There's my fallen hero. Goblin Huckster. Hello, I've sold your previous body. Here is your revenue. 35 gold and 77 hearts. So you really, you really want to find your body. You get double what you started with. I'm just going to clear this level out. I've got plenty of hearts to do it now. Plenty. And I've, my magic is absolutely full. 116 hearts still, and we're to level 8. Discovered a new monster, the Demon Pig. The Demon Pig hates birds. Explodes upon death. You'll take damage if you finish it off with a physical attack. Yeah. And that's all this character has, is a physical attack. Well, no, I guess he's got magic. Uh, what does this do? Victim loses 1 HP per move, so we'll do that. And we'll attack this guy, and this guy, and he's dead, and I didn't take any damage. So that's cool. Don't need to buy anything at the shop. The slime, a persistent little bugger. When his health drops to zero the first time, he'll come back with half the original attack and life. Good to know. So I need to take out the pig again. So we'll poison him. And kill these guys. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so this one has three attack. We, I don't, I'm not happy with that. So he's dead. And let's do this. Double attack power. And let's do guaranteed first strike. So now we're going to just take this guy out, no problem. When I kill him, though, he gets smaller, and then his health total for the smaller one is half the health of the original. Spoils found ice prison. Perfect. So this guy starts off with 18, and then I'll attack him, and he'll get down to zero, and then he'll end up at nine. He'll shrink and go to nine. And we'll use this again. First attack for the, for the next three attacks. These guys did not help me at all. So, cured because I got poisoned by him. And sword. Hello, I will protect you from three attacks. Good, I only need protection from one. Key was in the very last. And I don't want to waste any money, really. We still got more health than what we started with. But as far as this dungeon goes, I just want to get past this to get to level... I think... Ah. There we go. Perfect. I'll just keep opening until... Oh, he does. He attacks everybody on screen. Did not notice that before. So, I'll, okay. That's as far as I can get, so I'm gonna go down. We've made it to level 10, so now we've unlocked the vampire. So I guess, in the next episode, if you guys are interested in this at all, we'll, uh... Oh, hold on, what does this do? Four damage? Hell yeah. So in the next episode, we'll just go ahead and take care of... Uh, take care of playing with a vampire, because it'll be awesome, hopefully. And if not, then I don't know. Whatever. We'll finish off with this guy, though. Either let him die or get as far as we can get, I guess. His health is dropping rapidly now that we've made it to level 10. Everybody gets a little bit stronger down here. And this guy explodes upon death and does a lot of damage to me. And we'll get the hearts from that guy. We might be able to keep going for a little ways with this guy. He's still got some health and some potions and stuff, so... 
maybe we can keep going. I found the key to this already. I don't know why I haven't just left already. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we will continue exploring. Oh, no, I got poison. Where we will continue exploring the dungeon and killing a bunch of people. And then once this guy dies, we will try out, try our luck with the vampires. I will see you guys in the next episode.